So I get a lot of questions about how to um, use certain fonts that aren't in the Cricut website. And so many of you all have probably heard of defont.com as a recommendation on what you should use. Um, and I'll put the, the name of that website in my information about this video. But this one, for example, that I have shown here is a pretty popular one among people who are trying to do like anniversary or wedding gifts. And so I got this font that I used here from defont.com. And a lot of people are unfamiliar with how to actually use the um, defont.com information. So I'm going to go to defont.com. And I'm going to pick the font that I want. Now, the problem with Cricut sometimes is it doesn't always come out kind of the way that it is shown on defont.com. But that's just because Design Space is pretty different um, than like Microsoft Word or Paint or anything like that. So, um, let's try. I have a lot of these, so I'm trying to find one maybe I don't have yet. Okay, let's do autumn in November. So I'm going to click the download button. I'm going to save the file and as you can see it says that it's a zip file. So I'm just going to click OK. And it shows that it went to my little downloads and I'm going to now pull up my documents. I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to find that zip file. So it was called autumn in November. So here it is. And it looks like I already downloaded it but have not um, installed it. So I'm just going to get rid of this one because I don't want it. But here's my autumn in November. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to hit extract all. Okay, it's just going to tell me the name of it. I like to show extracted files because then I can install it right after I extract it. So then it brought up what I just extracted. This one right here that has the little picture um, just of a blank piece of paper with the little letter A in the bottom. I'm going to right click again and I'm going to hit install. And that is actually going to install it on my computer. Now if you have Cricut Design Space open, you might have to um, refresh it because um, it might not click into the system if you haven't refreshed it. So if you're working on a project, I would save it first. Because, you know, when you if you refresh and crook it and try to pull it back up, it's not going to work the way you want it to. So I refreshed my design space. As you can hear my children in the background making a mess as I'm talking to you. And there it goes. Sometimes Cricut's a little special, as I like to call it. Now I'm just going to see what this font looks like. And you saw what it looked like on defont.com. Um, let's just type in Cricut. And it might look different. And if it does look different, we can kind of um, work with it and see what we might want to fix or what we don't want to fix on it. So I'm just going to pull down my Edit tab and I'm going to click on my font options and it's deciding that it wants to be really slow right now so I have actually clicked but I'm just playing the waiting game as Cricut likes to do sometimes must be a lot of people crafting this evening and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going oh, actually up because it's called autumn in November and it's right here and as you can see it doesn't have the fancy lettering on here so let's see if it's compatible with Design Space because sometimes the fonts you download are going to say that that font is not compatible and it won't work in your Design Space. So a lot of times I just delete them so that they're not even an option when I pull down my fonts tabs. Um, oftentimes too you'll find that like cursive letters you download don't connect and so you kind of have to play around with things. Um, and there are other options to use outside of just the Cricut app. But I do a lot of things on Cricut itself. So as you can see, it's not connected. So now that I have it, I'm going to isolate my letters. And there is a more in-depth video on how to do this. But what that does is separates my letters out into individual letters. And that allows me to overlap them. And I will afterward weld them so that they become all one beautiful K 
connected unit because right now it looks a little funky you can see that it's you know like the line right there isn't very appealing so then I'm gonna select all I'm gonna go to my layers tab and I'm going to weld my objects together and then that will get rid of all those little unsightly lines that we do not want to be shown on our beautiful script cursive so it got rid of it so there you go now you can make it larger make it smaller do what you want with it that's how you upload fonts from defont.com thanks guys